This segment of Save Energy, Save Money is dealing with my truck again. Uh, today we're putting on magnets on the fuel lines. The theory being that the magnetic fields break up the hydrocarbon clusters. Which, and when I researched it, there seemed to be enough uh, evidence to support that theory. And with gas probably going to be $5 a gallon this year, thank you George, uh, these little steps are going to wind up uh, wind up being meaningful. So when I was doing the research, I found out that uh, this guy Cronenberg did uh, <clears throat> did some research on sequencing the magnets, and all all that means is having multiple sets. And uh, and because this is such a simple install. I said, well, might as well just go ahead and do it. All magnets have polarity. They either repel or attract to each other. And you can see right there, those are the magnets when they are attracting to each other. And if you turn it around, then, you'll, then they'll repel each other, which you can see he's not making that up. I found it easier doing this to, uh, to hook up my zip ties first. And then bring the magnets. And remember, they have to they have to repel they have to repel each other. So you just have to keep on turning them till you find you know where they're like that. And then gets a little because it's a tight fit in here. It gets a little harder to work, but basically just go ahead and. Once you get those in place, uh, cinch it, cinch it up enough to hold it. Bring the, bring the other one around. Okay, I was finding that because you've got you tight uh, quarters to work in, I uh, went ahead and just put these together, and then then I could slide them down you have to make sure you get the supply side of the the fuel the fuel line cuz they have a return also usually it's it's pretty evident you just look at it uh look in your manual if you have any questions or even you know take it by the dealer and I'm sure they would come out and and tell you there are a lot of companies that make uh little kits for this but they um well number one they're expensive uh they're all about at least they start at twenty dollars and can go as much as fifty i just bought the uh the magnets right in the you know just the three eighths by three eighths magnets and used uh cable ties and my total cost was uh around six dollars to have three sets so where you would spend twenty five dollars you just get one set and and you don't get the sequencing effect according to the world intellectual properties organization on diesel engines you save about ten percent and gas eight percent but i don't believe that that was with sequenced uh... magnets so it's even possible that the numbers could be better